Hey guys, Street Stomper back at you again here. So uh, my kids got this uh, Alesis DM6 Nitro kit for Christmas and thought, what the heck, I'm going to uh, throw a little bit of a review together about this kit. It's actually a really impressive kit. It's got like 40 pre-programmed kits that are totally customizable with uh, 400 different sounds. There's voices. Um, there's the built-in metronome, obviously. None of us play, we're all just learning, but uh, this is a great kit, and I thought I should go electric having three kids, if one's playing, I'm sure they don't want to listen to an acoustic click kit, you know, kind of be going deaf, but it's got the dual zone snare, so you can do rim shots and whatever, uh, dual pedals, obviously for the hi-hat and your... Uh, your kick. What I really liked about this is how it actually has a proper kick pedal. A lot of the other ones we looked at had that style, but I wanted my kids to get used to actually kicking a pedal so you can actually get a bit of a feel. I know it's going to be different even playing on these pads versus an acoustic kit, but I think for them learning timing and for myself learning timing and um, beats and whatnot I think it's a it's a good starting point so so far we are extremely happy with this kit it's got so many sounds that to be honest I gave up I built my own kit uh, saved it to one of the slots and and left it um, one of the things I do notice is they do show marks like this is from always hitting the same spot they got the I don't know if it's wax on the sticks on the ends are plastic, you know, the the white stuff, so you can see it's whatever, no big deal. You can just take a, a microfiber cloth and it wipes right off, but uh, this this is a great kit. If you're in the market for a electric kit, I strongly recommend one of these guys. They're very affordable. I think you can get these guys for around 400 bucks. Um, I think you can get, uh, there's a Yamaha one too, I'm not sure what the Yamaha kit is, but... Yeah, this is great. I'll put a, a clip of me trying to play, keyword being trying, and I'll record a little bit of the audio through my laptop and see what we come up with. Alrighty, so after playing it for a couple minutes here, a um, couple things that I do notice is it's really hard for me to get comfortable, and I don't know if that's just because the rack is totally straight or what, but I find myself always wanting to adjust the throne, you know, to, I, I don't even know, I just find myself that I, either my legs are not proper or my arms, I mean, I get, yeah, I'm a beginner and eventually I'll get used to this with muscle memory and whatnot, but I found myself moving the throne quite a bit until I actually found quote unquote the sweet spot but um, it's great too because like my kids can be in bed and I can come out and play I mean there's like it's so quiet so I, I, I love that um, I recommend a good pair of headphones I was trying to use um, some skull candy in there and uh, to be honest they sounded like trash so I went and picked these. I think these were only like 15 bucks, but they've got all the tones or notes, whatever you want to call it, that you need in a drum kit. You can hear the bass, and it actually sounds like a bass drum. The cymbal sounds like a cymbal, and snare sounds like a snare, whereas the the Skull Candy, they just they sounded like trash. They were Every sound sounded the same, so... Yeah, I strongly recommend this. This is the Alesis Nitro DM6. Check it out for yourself. <laughs> 